Now that you've completed the mini PCR PTC taster lab, it's time to interpret your resulting gel. This video will make that process fast and easy. During the lab, you used PCR to amplify a 250 base pair section of the TAS2R38 gene. Then you added a restriction enzyme that cuts only the taster allele into two fragments, a 150 base pair fragment and a 100 base pair fragment. This means if you see 150 base pair and 100 base pair bands in a sample, the taster allele is present. If you see a 250 base pair band, the non-taster allele is present. We'll use the DNA ladder like a molecular ruler to determine the lengths of the DNA fragments in our samples. We will focus on these three bands in the ladder, which contain DNA fragments 300 base pairs, 150 base pairs, and 50 base pairs long. The DNA fragments we expect from our experiment fall into this size range. In the first lane, we see one band. Comparing it to the latter, we see that it has traveled farther than the 300 base pair band in the latter, but not as far as the 150 base pair band. Based on the design of our experiment, we can infer that this band contains the 250 base pair DNA fragments associated with the non-taster allele. Since this sample contains only the non-taster allele, this individual has the little t, little t genotype. In the second lane, we see two bands. This band traveled the same distance as the 150 base pair band in the latter, indicating it contains DNA fragments that are 150 base pairs long. This band traveled farther than the 150 base pair band in the latter, but not as far as the 50 base pair band. Based on the design of our experiment, we can infer that this band contains 100 base pair DNA fragments. This banding pattern means that this sample contains only the taster allele, so this individual has the big T, big T genotype. In the third lane, we see three bands. Comparing them to our ladder, we see that this band contains DNA fragments 250 base pairs long, this band contains DNA fragments that are 150 base pairs long, and this band contains DNA fragments that are 100 base pairs long. The 250 base pair band represents DNA from the non-taster allele, and the 150 and 100 base pair bands represent DNA from the taster allele. Therefore, this individual has the big T little t genotype. Now you can compare your experimental samples to these results to identify the genotype of each sample.